back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. I'm going to be testing out the Fenty Beauty Concealer and the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder. What? Do you guys see this? How did this sticker thing get on my package? Uh, I hope these aren't open. I hope these products have not been returned or used because they just came out today. And now I'm kind of questioning my purchase. Have they been tampered with? I got super excited until I'm looking at the package. Hey, why is this open? Anyways, I'm gonna be testing out the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I purchased mine in 360, and I purchased the Pro Filter setting powder as well. We're gonna see how these two products perform throughout the day, and I'm gonna be doing a one week's wear test as well, like I do for every new product, especially a hyped out product like Fenty Beauty. I just wanna try this on and put this on my face already. Um, but I'm just going to remove this sticker. Here we go. Looks a little bit better. I hope that little safety sticker did not come out from this packaging. So I hope this is okay to use. I ran into Sephora and I purchased these items. I'm currently wearing my Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade 360. It is my perfect match. I love this formula. It keeps me matte throughout the entire day. I don't have to retouch. I don't have to repowder. I don't have to do anything with this foundation. It's my holy grail and I've used it quite a bit as you guys can see. I will be trying everything on camera with you guys. So here we have the packaging for the concealer. Again, I did pick up the shade in 360 because it does complement this shade in 360 as well, the foundation shade. It's very simple, very Fenty, which I love. And then you do have the shade name here at the top. You open the packaging, here's what the concealer looks like. It's so cute. It looks exactly like the foundation, but a mini baby one. I love the frosted glass bottle. Let's have a double side applicator. Let me just do a little blending with my finger to see the coverage. The coverage is there, you guys. This concealer might be full coverage, I'm not sure. This concealer retails for $26 each and comes in 50 shades. Now that we've seen what the concealer looks like, let's open up the setting powder. So here we have a closer look of what the setting powder looks like. Love the simplicity of the packaging. Let's open her up. Hopefully it's not tampered with. Oh guys, look, it comes with a gem in here. This is a ginormous setting powder, you guys. Look how big this is. I purchased mine in the shade Honey. We had 0.98 ounces of product. Ooh, look, and it does come with a little cap thing. I guess this is good for traveling. If you are gonna be traveling with the setting powder, it just keeps it in place. So now for the reveal of the setting powder. I hope it's not tampered with you guys. I should have checked in store, but I didn't. The cap does have fingerprints on it. Somebody touched it or not. Thank God, you guys, it has a safety seal on it, which is amazing. Cause I would have to run back in Sephora and get another one. So let's open her up. So that's what the powder looks like. I have no idea why I'm smelling the powder. I don't smell anything from this powder. Now we're gonna be applying the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I think I'm gonna do one side with the concealer, and then one side with the setting powder and the concealer, just to see how it performs and wears throughout the day. On my left side, just gonna be taking three dots. I do want to see how much this concealer does cover up. Wow, that is brightening. This is amazing. Do you guys see how brighter this side of my face does look versus this side of my face? I really do like the brightening effect of the concealer so far. This concealer does state to be crease proof and sweat proof. We're gonna see how the claims are. And I'm going to be applying a little bit more of the concealer. I don't want to make the concealer cakey. We're going to do two layers of the concealer. Here's what two layers of the concealer does look like. On this side of my face, I'm going to be applying the same amount of concealer like I did on my left side of my face. Rihanna did come out with a concealer brush as well, but I felt like that brush was overpriced. I normally use a damp beauty sponge applying concealer or I'll use my finger if I'm in a rush. I'm just gonna apply another three stripes. That way we have two layers. I 
I would love to know what you guys purchased during this launch. Did you guys purchase the concealer, the setting powder? Let me know in the comments down below. Now we're just going to be applying the setting powder on this side of my face. I'm going to take some out and pour it on the cap. Here's a little bit. So that's a little bit of what the setting powder does look like. I'm just going to be applying it here so you guys can see. I definitely think the setting powder would work for my skin complexion. I'm just going to be taking my damn beauty sponge and dipping it into the setting powder. Applying it right on this side of my face. I also love that Rihanna did come out with eight shades in a setting powder because that is unheard of. It's normally three shades and that's it. You can definitely tell that Rihanna wanted to include everyone in this launch. Here we have both of the concealers applied on my face. We do have the left hand side with just the concealer and the right hand side has the concealer and the setting powder and of course we do have the Fenty Beauty foundation on. I quickly did want to mention I am wearing the shade in I Create by L'Oreal. L'Oreal did release a ton of shades in their new matte liquid lipsticks. This does retail for $11.99. I will be checking back in with you guys at the end of the night to see how this concealer does perform and I will see you guys then. It is the end of the night of me testing out the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Here's what the concealer is currently looking like. As you guys do notice that the concealer did crease underneath my eye. On the left side of my face, I did not set the concealer with setting powder. On the right side of my face, I did set the concealer with the setting powder and both of my under eyes did crease. I don't think that this concealer is long wearing. I did like how the concealer did brighten up underneath my eyes. I'm going to be testing out this concealer throughout the entire week. And of course, I'll let you guys know my final thoughts at the end of the week. So I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is the end of the week of me testing out the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. My final thoughts on this concealer is that I don't like the concealer at all. This concealer creases on me throughout the day. After I'm done setting it with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. This setting powder I love so much. I'm currently wearing it on my face. I love how finely milled this setting powder is. And this shade in Honey is the perfect shade for me. I set it all over my face. Going back to the concealer again, I would not recommend this concealer because it does crease throughout the day on me. After I apply the concealer and I set the concealer, it still creases on me throughout the day. I did find a solution to the Fenty Beauty Concealer and that's the foundation. So you guys know I currently wear the shade in 360 in Fenty Beauty beauty. I went back in store and I did purchase another bottle like I did state that I was, but I also picked up the shade in 330 as well. Currently I have both these foundations all over my face. I have 360 blended all over my face and then I do have the shade in 330 right underneath my eyes and this does brighten up underneath my eyes. It does increase on me and it does stay matte. Each of the Fenty Beauty foundations do retail for $34 each, which is definitely a fair price in my opinion. With the foundation you do get 1.08 fluid ounces or 32 millimeters. The concealer retails for $26 and you only get 8 millimeters or 0.27 fluid ounces. So I would definitely spend the $8 more buy the foundation in a lighter shade and use that as a concealer shade. I do want to show you guys what the shade in 330 does look like. And I'm also going to do 360. This is my foundation shade right here. And then this is my concealer shade that I'm currently wearing. I do love both of these shades. And then why not? Let me just swatch the concealer shade in 360. I do love this shade in 330 because how golden it is. It does brighten up underneath my eyes. I zoomed you guys in for a closer look just so you guys can see how using a lighter shade in the same foundation does make a huge difference. I'm just going to look up underneath my eyes. There's no creasing at all whatsoever. I do have some fine lines and wrinkles that comes with aging. You guys know that I love the foundation. It does stay matte throughout the entire day and it doesn't crease on me either. It doesn't make me overly oily. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.